and we're here again with another 10 sci-fi series and yes i'm including animations you know series all sorts of different things if it's sci-fi and i found out about it it's going in the list number one the middleman it's a science fiction comedy television series that aired in 2008 on ABC. It follows the adventures of a young artist named Wendy Watson, who becomes the assistant to the enigmatic and dashing titular character, The Middleman. Their mission is to protect the world from various supernatural and sci-fi threats, ranging from alien invasions to evil geniuses. It stands out for its unique blend of genres and combines action-packed heroics with clever humour and references to geek culture, as it's become known. It's garnered a cult following for its quirky characters, clever writing, and the ability to lovingly poke fun at genre conventions. The Middleman, the complete series. You know how in comic books there's all kinds of mad scientists and aliens and androids and monsters? In comic books, sure. Available in a four DVD set. I heard that when comic book evil strikes, you're there to cover it up. I'm just the middleman. Number two, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future, 1987 to 1988. Set in a post-apocalyptic future where human resistance fighters led by Captain Jonathan Power battle against the oppressive machine forces of Lord Dread, the series combines live action and computer-generated effects and explores the impact of war, technology and artificial intelligence on humanity. As the soldiers face battles and ethical questions, they strive to protect the future of humanity and fight for a world free of tyranny. Estimate delay in project new order completion. Delay of three point four months. Number three, the Transformers cartoon, 1984 to 1987. This was all over the place, wasn't it? There's was an animated series featuring the Autobots, led by Optimus Prime, of course, and the Decepticons, led by Megatron, who are sentient robots from the planet Cybertron. They bring their war to Earth, where they transform into various vehicles and different objects. Wasn't one of them a, a cassette, and one was a bird, and they were absolutely brilliant, the Transformers. The series blends action, adventure, and sci-fi elements whilst exploring themes of friendship, loyalty, and the battle between good and evil, Transformers became absolutely iconic and has had a significant impact on popular culture. Continue observation. Unless a new supply of energy is found, nobody is going to win this war. Decepticons. <laughs> By leading us to this planet, the Autobots have sealed their own doom. Number four. Omega Factor, 1979 to 1980. This one's been mentioned quite a few times, but I think it sort of drops more into the supernatural than sci-fi, but since it's been requested, here we go. It's a supernatural series centred on journalist Tom Crane, who investigates paranormal phenomena. He's gifted with psychic abilities, and he works for the Department of Special Research and encounters various supernatural occurrences whilst exploring the boundaries between science and the unexplained. As Crane delves deeper into the world of the unknown he faces personal and professional challenges in uncovering the truth behind mysterious phenomena <sighs> oh god sorry for what a nightmare congratulations dear boy thank you full of inaccuracies and egotistical presumptions but then you didn't have the benefit of, of my guidance <laughs> Number five, Space Vets. That's right, Space Vets. 1983, this one was from ITV in the UK. It followed two veterinarians, Dr Becky Smith and Dr Andrew Wallace, who run a veterinary clinic in space on a satellite named Ark. They care for the animals of various alien species whilst facing challenges unique to extraterrestrial medicine. The series combines veterinary drama with space adventure as the veterinarians strive to provide top-notch care whilst learning about the different alien cultures and the biology of the animal species. Space Vets Command wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Lots of love from the Space Fairs Department. Shall we blast him, Captain? Shall we? Yeah! 
Good thinking, Skip. My dear Squeak. Uh, Scrag. Whatever. This is unbearable. You're telling me? No, no, I want to go to the toilet. What? Number six, Pigs in Space. That's right. Pigs in Space, 1977, a parody of sci-fi series like Star Trek. It follows the crew of the spaceship Swine Trek as they face comedic adventures and absurd situations in space. It humorously pokes fun at sci-fi tropes and space exploration, entertaining audiences with a bit of slapstick comedy and some witty wordplay. The very cute and extremely dangerous Miss Piggy. <laughs> Testy, testy, mon capitaine. Doc, would you look this thing up in your book? Uh, ah! Pigs in space! Would it be all right if I performed the mid-course correction? Well... Oh, after all, I did go to school for this particular maneuver. Number seven, Earth, Final Conflict, 1997 to 2002. It's rare that we get into the 2000s on this channel. It was created by Gene Roddenberry and is a series set after the arrival of the Talons, an advanced alien species offering technological advancements to humanity. As Earth becomes independent on these Talons, a resistance group led by William Boone seeks to uncover the alien's true motives. It sounds a bit like V, doesn't it? The show delves into political intrigue and moral ambiguity and the complexities of first contact, exploring the consequences of trusting extraterrestrial benefactors. Number eight, Big Bad Beetleborgs. You heard it, Fox Kids, 1996 to 1998. It was an action comedy series about three kids who unlock a haunted mansion's secrets and gain some superpowers. They become the Beetleborgs, armoured superheroes who defend their town from the evil Magnavores and their monsters. The series blends humour and adventure while celebrating classic monster movie motifs and superhero tropes. It appeals to a younger audience, of course, and its lively characters and colourful action scenes sequences are very well remembered. Well, no goes so far. Hey, come on. All right. Wait, come back here. Uh, oh no, brain power. It's not working. And hang on. And number nine, Astro Boy. This one's a classic Japanese anime set in a futuristic world where robots and humans coexist. Astro Boy is a robot with advanced AI and superpowers. He fights for justice and peace while seeking to bridge the gap between robots and humans. The series explores themes of humanity and discrimination and the consequences of technology on society. It earned Astro Boy a place in anime history as one of the first very iconic characters in this genre. Discouraged? Well, Toby, I'm not so sure. I've been so close, but I just can't make a robot like a human. Is it good? Yes. Eat all you want. No, no, not the fork. After you. And number 10, Roswell. It was a science fiction TV series that aired from 1999 to 2002. And it was actually based on a series of books called Roswell High. It's set in the fictional town of Roswell, New Mexico, and follows a group of teenagers who are actually aliens with human appearances. These alien characters are the survivors of the 1947 Roswell UFO incident, and they must keep their true identities hidden whilst navigating the challenges of high school life and their own unique abilities. It explores themes of identity and acceptance and the challenges of being an outsider. Hey, it's me. We make that I thought it was March 1959. So with this picture, what we're seeing is there's more of us? Sheriff Valenti, can I see some identification, please? Sorry about the intrusion. The truth is, if you were just some girl, and you, you, you stiff me on a date, I'd be walking a sick. You're not. Pal, I really want to talk to you right now. I do, but... 
It's just not a good time. I'm sorry. The reason that we keep on changing the subject is cramps. And there you have it, another ten sci-fi things from many different countries and many different decades. And we're nowhere near close to running out, so don't worry. Like this video if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share the video with your pals and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.